Hello viewers, today we will be embarking on a cordless networking project. This is the cordless network transmitter that I have. It's a TP-Lynx um, model number TLWR841N and this is a 300 for whatever that's worth. And uh, I use this outside, and it's really the only used case I have for the cordless networking. I have a main router upstairs, which is another TP link. It's a Archer 75 or something like that. And I don't use the wireless aspect of it, I just use the Ethernet. And then I have this transmitter down here. And the reason I put it in this window is because outside here, you now it's going to be hard to see it because it's so bright up but outside and no, not over there uh let's see here come on behind that garden let's see if we can get this to uh, blur a little better there we go behind that uh that second garden there is where the outside patio is and that table and everything and that's where i typically use the computer outside and so i have it in this window and it works out there it's it's strong enough to be pretty reliable. I've never had it drop out over there. So that works fine. The problem is now I also want to use it down by the water, which is that way. And it's it's right behind those those uh plants there, so you can't see it. But where that tree right up there where that tree line clears, that's kind of where it is. And and that's a much further distance. That's probably about 500 feet, whereas over there is maybe about 280 or so. And so, there's two areas down there by the water where I want it to work. One of the areas, it kind of works. The other area, it doesn't work at all. So, what I've done is, I went around and I got some new antennas for this transmitter. And then I realized these antennas are not replaceable. So, the antennas that I got are 12 dbi antennas whereas these antennas are only 5 dbi i have another transmitter that we can use it has interchangeable antennas and that's what we're going to have to set up and use my only concern with using that other router is that i don't know if the coverage is going to be as good as this one with the factory antennas because i found that this one has exceptionally good coverage i find that this one delivers much much better coverage than the several times more expensive router that I have upstairs. The reason I don't use this as my primary router though is because the Ethernet is only 10100 and because of the way I use the network and all the file transfers and so forth that I do I really would like it to be gigabit and that's why I have that other router and I just don't use the cordless aspect of it because I have no need for it. So I'm gonna get that other router out. I'm gonna put it down here and I'm gonna test the coverage compared to this one with the factory antennas. I kind of hope it's the same because then I think that would give us a good chance of the new antennas really increasing the coverage. But if it's not as good as this one, I don't know if the, the additional coverage from the other antennas is really gonna give what I want it to do. So, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get that router set up and then we're gonna do a couple of tests. Before I get to that other router, I wanna show the uh, areas that we want to coverage from a better perspective. I'm upstairs now. Over there is where it works currently. And then down there, that's the road we do the range tests on. Down there is where I want it to work. And I'm thinking perhaps I'll have to put it in this window because this is more of a line of sight situation. This is the window here. The only problem is there's no ethernet in this room. So I'd have to run another cord if this is what we have to do to make it work. This is the other router I mentioned. This is another TP-Link, model TLWA801ND. And I like this one because it has a lot of different functionalities to it. I think it has five different modes it can do. And so, ultimately, if this ends up being what I use, I have to get another one because I take this with me when I travel. And I find it very useful. So, anyways, um... But the key here with this one is that it has detachable antennas. So I can connect the high gain antennas to this one. Now, the other router that I mentioned, the T 
TL Archer 7C or whatever it is in, in the main networking closet here. Also has detachable antennas. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, we're not going to get any, any more light out of it, but uh, I have this stupid thing up here, but it never... Oh, there we go. Um, it didn't do a whole lot. Anyways, this has detachable antennas, but as I mentioned before, I've never found this to give really good coverage. So I'm going to set this other one up. And i got to wait for the computer to charge up. And then we're going to compare the coverage of this one with the factory antennas to the coverage of the one that I currently have in place. Okay, so I'm recording from the computer now, and it's going to be kind of weird because you can't see where I'm at in the yard, but I don't know how else to record this because there's no tables in these uh, uh, in the further area, so it's not like I can put the computer down and record it with the camera and show you where I'm at, so I'll just have to tell you where I am. Right now, I am downstairs, about two feet away from the transmitter, and we're getting uh, about negative 30 uh, signal. And I don't understand why this is so noisy, because when I was upstairs before, I, I, I set up that other TP-Link router, the noise is only like 13, I think, or 12, and there's nothing transmitting down here there's two two cordless phone handsets and that's it i would think that that it should be a very clean environment down here but anyways actually let me pull this out of the window let's see is it getting better if i take it out of the window um uh, let's see oh yeah it did get a lot better okay so it's it must be uh picking up some noise from being inside the window i have tried it not in the window before I've tried it right above the window where it's it's not concrete, it's wood, and the signal degrades significantly outside, so I think for all intents and purposes it does need to be in the window. Okay, so now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to test it in the first area, which is going to be the patio area down behind the gardens. I'm outside now by the patio area and you can see our signal strength is still pretty good it's negative uh, 67 and I use this out here all the time and it works just fine now I did turn on the transmission of the Archer router this is the 2.4 uh, transmission you can see it's pretty low signal compared to the other one and Here's the 5.8 5 gigahertz band, which is so low it doesn't even register. And I'm not really interested in the 5.8 anyways, because it's it's not, uh, it doesn't have enough coverage to be useful to me. So, um, what I don't understand is why there's so many networks out here. The houses aren't that close together around here. Um, there's a whole bunch of these, which I don't understand that either. But anyways, so... Um, that's where we're at. We got a, a good usable signal from the transmitter downstairs and this is kind of kind of weak which is why I don't even bother with it. So so that's that just for comparison purposes. But this is the one we're going to look at, the bread network. And so we have a good signal about 50 to 60 percent and what did they say in the achieve? They're saying it's 120 Realistically, I find it usually is about 20 or 30 back here, uh, which is completely adequate for browsing the internet. I don't do any file transfers out here. Okay, so now I'm going to stop this recording again, and I'm going to move down to the water, and I will start recording uh, as I progress down uh, the way from the house. I just broke a line of sight from the house. I'm going down that road where I usually do for the cordless phone range tests and we're dropping signal pretty quickly so I'm going to keep going here and let's see what transpires I'm not on the road anymore I'm, I'm walking down the edge of the water I don't really care if it works on that road I don't use the computer there And it's coming back up a little bit, which is kind of strange. 
about halfway to where I want it to go, or to one of the locations I want it to work in anyways. And it's not really degrading that much anymore. It seems pretty, uh, pretty steady. Now this is, to some extent, kind of line of sight. Because now I'm going, I wish I had the camera now. Now I'm going uh, kind of straight out. When I first started I was going crooked. I should have went straight the whole time. And I'm almost to where I want it to work. And this is about 400 something feet from the transmitter at this point. This is noisy vehicles going by. Uh, right now, I'm at about 500 feet from the transmitter, and this is where I want it. This is one of two locations that I want it to work, and it's 40 percent. It's not the greatest, but it does work. I've used it out here before. It drops on occasion, so it's not the greatest. Now, I'm going to move over to the second area, which is not line of sight. And I think it's going to drop out completely, if it hasn't already, I don't even see it anymore. Where are we at here? Yeah, it's getting really low. It's only at 18. So now I'm, I'm uh, standing where I want it to work, the second area. And actually it's better than I thought it would be. Let's see if, uh, if it'll connect. Brad, here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's too weak for it to connect. Oh, maybe it's going to go. There it goes, it did connect. But there's no internet. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean this is really, really weak here. I don't even think, is it transmitting any packets? It's not really exchanging any packets. Um, and it just dropped out. So, it doesn't really work here. It's it's showing up on the on the scanner, but realistically the um, the signal level is just too low. So now that we know approximately the way it works with the stock antennas, I'm going to swap it out with that other router, the the, uh, the one with the interchangeable antennas, and we're going to see if there's any kind of a difference in the reception. Okay, so we're downstairs now with the other TP-Link thing in place, and it looks like it's going to be about the same. So let's go outside and see what transpires. back outside by the patio area and let's see what we have here okay so it looks like it's also about the same okay maybe uh, maybe I was mistaken about that other one being better let's go tech, uh, check it out by the water I'm going to follow approximately the same path I followed before. And it looks like looks like it's kind of degraded. Oh there it is, now it's back. Okay, so I'm gonna begin going down this way. And I don't know, maybe it's gonna be about the same. I think it's fluctuating a fair bit. And I'm back, uh, I'm back into the line of sight area. So it should be coming back now. We got about 41%. Okay, this is at about 450 or so feet. Almost to location number one. Okay, I'm at location number one, where the other transmitter 
work. So let's see, we have, just increase the brightness, I can't see it anymore. Okay, we have, where did it go? Here it is, 33. I think that's a little less than the other one was. Let's see if we can connect to it. Okay, it's connected. And uh, it's good enough of a connection. 11 is more than adequate. So, um, it looks like the performance is going to end up being about the same. So I'm gonna move back over to location number two, which will break the line of sight. And location number two is in kind of a dead zone for the cordless phones anyways. So I suspect we're gonna see similar behavior with the with this cordless networking. For whatever reason it's like that, I don't know. It appears to still be connected with 11. And uh, I mean it's definitely a weak signal, but it does seem like it's working. See here, I'm going to uh, see if we can transfer a, a uh, file. And it just dropped out, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so it kind of worked, but not really. Oh, well, it's back. And it connected, so you know what? This one is actually slightly better. 48, and eh, I'm not so sure you believe that. It looks like this has a good chance of working with those battery antennas. This one is certainly stronger than the, um, the other one was, because the other one didn't work at all here. This one seems like it kind of wants to work, so that's very interesting. I was not expecting those results. So now I just have to wait for the mail to come with those new antennas, and I will connect those antennas up and see what we get.